and he's impacted me greatly in my career, but he's impacted so many people in the industry uh, that I thought he would be a wonderful person to kind of sit down with uh, right now. Um, John is the, currently the CEO of Catalyst San Francisco, uh, a leading ad agency in uh, full service agency in San Francisco. He also happens to be the professor at University of San Francisco. My anchor is 12 months backwards. My deep anchor is 24 months because I think the impact of what you have over the next 12 months is going to impact behavior through 22. What's Christmas going to be like? Are we going to have a Black Friday? I mean, I don't think so. I think that day, I think that's over with uh, for a lot of different reasons. Are we going to have a, a, a digital Monday or Cyber Monday? No, I mean, people are already buying buying as it is. Well, if you have a product that high consumer demand, you need to be thinking about how we're going to reach customers over the next few months. And, and we started talking about influencer marketing. You had an interesting thought about pers inserting persuasion is a actually the key word. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit more about that and how you think about that? You know, the classic definition of advertising, inform, persuade, and remind. Information is very critical. People people hopefully want to make a decision that they, they've gathered information. Sometimes a lot of brands are nothing more than reminders. Coke and Pepsi, what else can they do besides tell you that they're wonderful brands? What else can Nike do? But they can show you the swoosh and you know you know the power of that brand. But if you are that third horse in a race, or you're that second horse, or you're even the first horse. What are you doing to not only build share, but in some, a lot of instances, you've got to keep, maintain, and grow that share. I think all of us started thinking about, okay, let's just figure out what it is, deal with it, and how do we move on? E-commerce, while it's something that had been growing, now took on significantly new meaning. How do you reach customers? How, did, how could Amazon out Amazon itself? Uh, you know, who could step in because Amazon was going through stuff. Instacart didn't take care of their original customer base before pre-COVID as they were trying to grow new people and they turned off their old customers. So how did people shop? And then there was this additional thing that I think people really began seeing where marketing, I think, for a lot of brands took forth was that the humanity. All of a sudden we were adding a sense of humanity and purpose back into our lives. And while we may have talked about purpose, it may have been a yawner. All of a sudden, it now became central to how we were thinking. And brands who saw that and really capitalized on it in a sincere way, I think catapulted ahead. And I don't think people will catch up to them.